Jordan Star, it was a big game. PG came at everybody like, oh, PG. I'm working out right now with Paul Jordan. He's one of my favorite players. Uh, my team obviously is down here, so it only makes sense to get in here and try to lock in when we could. We chilling at the B and B, and we just got confirmation that we got to go work out with Paul George. And they was getting on me that my room was dirty. Bro, they, they came in here and cleaned his room. They didn't clean my room. Well, hype was getting on me that my room was dirty, but he was in my room the whole time, so he the one who really got it dirty. Let me go in his room right now. Bro, this is my dirty clothes, gang. I'm about to wash clothes. Oh my God. That's my dirty clothes, bro. Dirty clothes always go in the corner, and then when it's time to wash it, just pick it up, bring it downstairs. Clean clothes stay in the bag. Oh my God. Let me... And it wrap around over here. No, no, no. See, look, dirty clothes in the corner. Dirty clothes in the corner. And then we wash. Why don't you put dirty clothes in the closet? <laughs> what? Going there, we was in a car, blasting music. All of us, you know, we had the family with us, so it was definitely a lot of fun going into the workout. Yeah. One, two. Oh my I was busting the ass down. <laughs> my pops met us at the gym. He always wanted to do some type of shooting game, some type of one on one. Move over here. So we was just playing, you know, we were doing shooting games and stuff, waiting for PG and his trainer to pull up. I think my dad is a better shooter. I don't think a shot ever gonna leave like that. So I'm still gonna put him in front of me. So what's, what, what's your list of top shooters? Um, Steph, Ray Allen, Reggie Miller, my pops. Clay, Clay got this drop, I ain't gonna What? Been in that ring, what you talking about? Hype talking all that <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Bust hype, man. Like <laughs> Sent Kyle all, all, all the way down the court to go be with PG. He had to work out after I bust his head. PG, to him, he considers him as like one of the greatest basketball players. Ever. He hype as hell. He don't want to show it. He's trying to be cool and all that. Y'all gonna see it? He about to work all this shit. Man, we made it happen. Big shout out to PG. He their favorite player, so let's get them in the gym and really show them how to really work at that level. <laughs> you know, they the future. They next up. Yeah, I'm blessed to be here. It was just last week we was on a podcast talking about, you know, working out and then the opportunity presented itself. We seen he was out here, got in contact with him, and he said he would love to, so we just got in the gym. Just a little extra working, especially with PG and AJ, which is also my man. Hey. I guess I'm crazy right now. Hey. And also, you know, the number one player in the country as of now, so, yeah, you know. My team obviously is down here. Cayenne off to a hot start here. He's doing his thing here, so it only makes sense to get in here and try to lock in when we could. Workout was good. Not using too many dribbles. Just getting to your spot, man, and like, just finishing, like, learning how to use their body and learning how to hide the ball. We have real defenders on us. PG just seeing how every dribble, how hard he goes, and every breath, like, they showed me, like, no excuses, like, you just gotta go hard. Good. Oh, way to keep it high. That's Young fellas in with PG, some of these guys, this is their favorite player. Yeah. 
just giving them a chance to kind of work out with them, hear his voice, hear how he sees things on the basketball court, making sure they master their footwork, their balance, their feel for the game. So just allowing them to kind of compete in that space to kind of see where they measure up against it. They got everything already. Um, it wasn't like I was adding anything to their bag. It was more so just cleaning everything up. There's certain things that I want him to have that I wanted him to get it from somebody who's very good at very specific things. We still got some work to do, but um, we looking good out here, man. Yeah, we played them all at um, 3 p.m. against Georgia Stars, a must-win game. I feel like I'm gonna have a great game tomorrow because it just worked out with Bojo. Then we woke up late and stuff like that. Now the sandwich eating right now, only energy you're gonna need for like the whole day. That's, that's all he eats. Chick-fil-A and cheeseburgers. It's bad to play on an empty stomach, so I had to eat had a little Chick-fil-A sandwich and I was good after that. He he not supposed to be doing that though. They got chicken sandwiches down here and stuff. Like the healthy stuff. And he wanna go to Chick-fil-A, so he might he might catch something in the game. Check for your goal. Georgia Stars, we warming up. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And it was a rematch. We had beat them before, like in session two or three. The winner wouldn't have to win no more games. They would just be in a championship. So it was a big game. All right, listen. First play of the game is there in man, though. All right, Tyrell, Jaden, hit Tyrell. Screen, Jaden hit a two man game with the shooters in the corners. Put our foot on the gas. As we go into the huddle, PG came in, everybody like, oh, PG. Then my pops came in, everybody like, oh, no. First quarter, we was up, like the momentum. Hype was having a good game, you know, you can't stop and stuff. Their side was quiet. We were definitely up like 10, I think, or like 8. Look at that score right there. And this right here is the top of the top, best of the best. If you don't come here to play, you will get embarrassed over here. Second quarter, they went on a little run. I started scoring second quarter. I hit same move I was working on with PG. I did like the little jab step into the shot. I pointed at him after I made the shot, and then he pointed back at me because we were just working on that. All of a sudden, Georgia Stars started to put up a fight. Yeah, they ended up catching up to us at halftime. Now the crowd is into the gym. So it was definitely about to be a great second half. Nine turnovers, about five, six missed layup attempts. Those two things produce transition for the other team, and that's how they score. We got to get at least two guys back every time. One guy's not going to do it. They got three on ones every single time. They sprint to the rim. We got to have two guys back. Real talk. We started out, realized we were the better team, and we relaxed. You don't do that in competition, not at this level especially. All right, it's locked back into competing. Let's execute down the stretch, whether they in man or zone, and let's finish with a win. Let's play more physical, babe. Win on three. One, two, three. Win. Third quarter, we came out. I don't think we scored for the first four minutes. It was trapping me. 
They just came out hitting threes. Now the crowd is into it. Everybody going for them. We call timeout. Coach got on us. Real simple f***ing action. Ball screen to back screen to get him the ball because he's dominating the ass. So now, oh, here's the deal. I'm not drawing no more up because y'all don't do it. Get him the f***ing ball. How about that? Why not? Why not? Why not? Let's go. We got a little right there. No, I didn't. Oh, oh. Then they call timeout, so now we coming back, we hype going to the bench. You want some attention, get it that way. Good job, that's how you're supposed to learn right there. So tell us, go, go. Hold on. Hey. Like 10 seconds left on the clock, they got the ball and hit a three. So now we gotta call timeout. Coach drew up the play, you know, hype's supposed to get downhill. Get a bucket or whatever. Oh, they ended up stopping it, so we ended up losing. Everybody knew we wasn't supposed to lose them because we just had beat them by 15. So yeah, that was a bad loss. So far, that was like one of the latest games at PG. After the loss, we headed home, and then boom. Tate has got a flat tire, man. <laughs> his lovely family looked out for him, man, for real. I Tay had his own car out in PG, so he was always ahead of us. And I just see Tay behind his car with a whole nother family. So we hop out, we like, what's going on? And then I see his wheel is like completely flat and the guy literally helping, helping him put on a whole new wheel. Yeah, my brother was a professional tire changer. I was panicking, I never changed a flat tire. I was, about to, I was about to call him to tow it. And this lovely family just came. This black foot. Look at the sweat though. <laughs> <laughs> we live to fight another day. Like, what are you doing, Tay? Okay? What? What is that? A nail? No, uh, that's definitely not a nail. There's a lot of houses being built. Could have been like some shrapnel. No, it's shredded. Yeah, something looked like it cut. Yeah. Out of nowhere. Like, literally out of nowhere. <laughs> the family that they was with helped us put the tire back on. We was Gucci. Yeah. Appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Took a picture with them. 
Thank you, bros. I really do appreciate it, bro. Take care, bro. Yeah, absolutely, dude. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Yeah, I was happy to take a picture with them after they helped my guy out, and it was time to call it at night. Get ready for them all. Hey, I appreciate you watching that video, but before you dip, do me a little favor. Go hit the OT shop and check out some of the new drops. They're all bangers. It's going to be hard to pick a favorite, but I promise it'll be worth it when you do.